Varinian steel. Varinian is the name of the guy who found this steel. This method, the principle of calculation of the moment, is the following. The moment of a force about a point is equal to the sum of the moment of its components about that point. So the moment, we can write it, the moment of a force about any point is equal to the sum of the moments of its components about this point. Varinian steel. And to illustrate this, I will choose an example simple one okay the moment of a, of a force about any point is equal to the sum of the moments of its components about this point so we have to find the components of this force about the components of the force and try to find the moment about the point of let's Look at this example. We have a force of forty five uh, four hundred newtons applied at an angle of 30 degrees here, 30 degrees, and this distance here is 0.4 meters, and from here to here. meters and we want to calculate the moment of this force about this point O. So the moment about O according to Varinius is the four handed so the line of action of this uh, sorry, not the line of action, but the, the component of this force F along this, this axis X and this one Y okay, just this distance here this component here Fx is 500 sine 30 and along y which is this distance here, this component which is fy is it's not 500 it's sorry it's 400 sine 30 
and this one is Fy equals 400 cosine theta. Now, this is my Fx, the component of the force along x, and here the component of the force along y. So, according to Varignon, what I have to do is to take the component of of the force along y here, which is 400 cosine 30, 400 cosine 30, times the distance, it, the line of action of this force, in fact, of this component is here, and this distance from the point O I find my O point for here. So times O point four plus the component along X, which is FX, four hundred sine thirty times the distance that separates the, the force Fx to O, which is this distance, O point. Now, doing this, I got calculation 9, 8, this 98.6 newtons meter. And as you can see, the force will, the, will turn clockwise. So, 95.6 clockwise. I'll choose another example here. about now. Another example of Varignon's theorem. Suppose that I am I have to calculate a moment of this system. I've got a road like this with another road here. This one is at 45 degrees. Okay, I've got system of forces. I've got one force here, 600 newtons. And here I've got 400, uh, 300 newtons applied. And vertically, another force of 500 newtons. I put the distance here, this distance here, from here to here is 2.5 meters. From here to here, one meter. And here, two meters. So what I am trying to, to calculate now is the moment of these one, two, three forces about O. Oh. So the rule is when you of the principle of the moment the moment of a force about a point is equals to the sum of the moment of the forces about this point. I repeat principle of moment a moment of a force about a point is equal to the sum 
of the moments of the forces about this point. So that means I have to calculate the moment of this force about O plus the moment of this force about O plus the moment of the 300 newtons about O. So if I choose my orientation of the moment as clockwise, it's arbitrary, I can choose any direction. I can start for the, with this one, for the first one. For the first one, it will be force times distance. Force is 600 newtons times the distance from the point O, which is one meter, plus this force, its line of action is here, okay, and the distance that separates this force of 500, 500 newtons is one meter plus two meters plus this distance here, D. So, but, you have to notice that because I've choose, I have chosen the positive moment as clockwise, clockwise, these 500 newtons will make the system turn into the other side, anti-clockwise. So, I have to take this into consideration for the for my calculation. Otherwise, I will get something. So uh, now we have to add the moment of this force, 500 newtons, which is force times distance, and the distance that separates the line of action to the point O is one meter plus 2 plus this distance d and this distance d is fine is 2.5 cosine uh, d equals 2.5 meters cosine 45 2.5 cosine 45 but there's a problem here, it's not a problem, I have to attract your attention. I put plus in a way that we have to add moment, but this moment of this force is making the system turn in anti-clockwise, counterclockwise. So if I, I have choose my positive moment as clockwise, this force will make the system turn in anti-clockwise, therefore I have to put here minus. This is the moment of the first force, the moment of the second force, and now the moment of this third force, line of action, okay, and here this distance d dash, this distance d dash, I find it here, which is 2.5 sine 45. 2.5 sine 45 degrees. And it's making the system turn in clockwise, therefore I have to put plus 300 newtons times 2.5 sine 45 you put this into your calculations it's into your calculator and you will find uh, okay we can do it It's uh, I I did this calculation. It's here. It's finally you can verify it. It's one, two, five, four newtons 
meter and that with this, you will find minus and this minus means simply it's anti-clockwise because I have chosen the positive sense rotating clockwise the minus that means this moment is making the system turning anti-clockwise so we have seen here how to calculate the moment of three forces about an axis and how to find the resultant moment. Thank you.